As reported by the U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory, military scientists have developed a terminator-like liquid metal that can autonomously change the structure, just like in a Hollywood movie. The scientists developed liquid metal systems for stretchable electronics, that can be bent, folded, crumpled and stretched our major research areas towards next generation military devices. Conductive materials change their properties as they are strained or stretched. Typically, electrical conductivity decreases and resistance increases with stretching. The material recently developed by Air Force Research Laboratory, AFRL, scientists, called polymerized liquid metal networks, does just the opposite. These liquid metal networks can be strained up to 700%, autonomously respond to that strain to keep the resistance between those two states virtually the same, and still return to their original state. It is all due to the self-organized nanostructure within the material that performs these responses automatically. Typically a material will increase in resistance as it is stretched simply because the current has to pass through more material. Experimenting with these liquid metal systems and seeing the opposite response was completely unexpected and frankly unbelievable until we understood what was going on. Wires maintaining their properties under these different kinds of mechanical conditions have many applications, such as next generation wearable electronics. For instance, the material could be integrated into a long sleeve garment and used for transferring power through the shirt and across the body in a way that bending an elbow or rotating a shoulder won't change the power transferred. AFRL researchers also evaluated the material's heating properties in a form factor resembling a heated glove. They measured thermal response with sustained finger movement and retained a nearly constant temperature with a constant applied voltage. Unlike current state-of-the-art stretchable heaters that lose substantial thermal power generation when strained due to the resistance changes. This project started within the last year and was developed in AFRL with fundamental research dollars from the Air Force Office of Scientific Research. It is currently being explored for further development in partnership with both private companies and universities. Working with companies on cooperative research is beneficial because they take early systems that function well in the lab and optimize them for potential scale-up.